What's going on, fellas? It's great to see you, and as always, I'm glad that you're here. So I just got back from Atlanta, Georgia, where I spent a few days at Menfluential Conference, which was phenomenal, by the way, my second year going. And so what I wanted to do this year was to bring my camera along and interview just some random guys that were there, as well as some other YouTube content creators that sort of are in this men's style space, and just ask them the simple question, why style is important, or why do you think style should be important in your life? So I do get a little bit of pushback from some of you guys in the comments about why I should care about style. I'm old enough to dress however I want, and that's fine. I agree with you 100%. I think that maybe there's a little disconnect there. There's also a little bit of confusion between fashion and style. So in this video, I'm gonna interview some guys and we're gonna talk about why style matters. Although fashion is a component of style, style is a whole nother avenue all on its own that maybe we can explore later in some future videos. But anyway, gentlemen, take a look at the following video, listen to some of these opinions. At the end of this video, I have some questions specifically for you. So stay tuned and I'll see you shortly. So why should you care about style? In my opinion, it's a super freaking competitive world out there. And you need every advantage over your competition you can possibly get. This includes personally, socially. You need to make sure that you're putting your best foot forward because in split second, like literally, like seconds, people are forming opinions about you based solely on the nonverbal communicating that you're doing. And your style, the way that you're packaging yourself is representing who you feel that you are and the way that you're gonna be perceived by other people. And honestly, if you're not paying attention, you're shooting yourself in the style foot. I love this question when it comes to a demographic that's not like 18 years old and it's, I wanna get laid, right? Because I think most, time, most of the time when guys think about style, they think about it within that context. But I think for most men, and you can look at this historically, we've always used our appearance to express our masculinity, as ways to signal our status, the things that we've accomplished, who, who we belong to as far as like our tribes or our subcultures or these kind of things. And the irony is that a lot of guys who will say like real men don't care how they look, you really do, because otherwise you would be wearing a dress or you would be just as happy in a suit as you would be in jeans and a t-shirt. But you only care about it to the extent that you like looking a certain way that communicates that you don't care how you look. And so even then, you, you still care. And so what I would say is what you want to do is figure out how you, how you feel best and what you best express the world. And so for men who are in an older demographic who have actually made something of themselves, I would say the best reason is because it solidifies your credibility. It solidifies your authority. It's a way to tell people that I've done things with my life and it's a way to remind yourself that you've done things with your life. And in addition to that, it's a way to say that I'm not done doing things with my life. Because if you dress the same way that you did when you were 30, then you look like you peaked when you were 30. Or if you look like you've given up at 55, then people are going to assume that you've given up. You no longer have any aspirations. You're just here to coast. And even worse, that's the image that you're going to see staring back at yourself in the mirror. And that doesn't mean that you have to dress up, that it has to be formal, that you have to wear a suit every day or anything else. Because... That's not the only way to dress with some style, but if you can determine what good style is for you in a way that communicates, I'm a man who's accomplished a lot, I'm a man who still has a lot more to accomplish, I'm someone who respects himself, and I'm someone who deserves your respect, if you can create an image that conveys all that, why would you not care about the way that you look? Style matters because it's a reflection of who you are. And I think everybody has some form of style. Either your style is being very casual, understated, or your style is very upbeat, fashionable, or classic. But I think it's a reflection of how you carry yourself, how you speak, your delivery, the way you walk, the way you talk. It's a, a number of different things. Now we wanna talk about why it matters. It matters because when you interact with people, you want them to understand that you are a certain way. So you present yourself in a certain fashion, a certain style, so they can understand you and understand who you are as a person. So the question John asked me is, why care about style? It's a good question. So let me ask you, how seriously do you take a naked man? Uh, I mean, it's a little bit extreme here, but the fact is, is what we wear matters. Again, a little bit extreme. So how about another example? A naked man runs into a room, we, we laugh it off. But a fireman walks into a room, and we listen, he says, get out, and we do it. A policeman, we look at that uniform, and no matter what you think, you have a message is being sent to you. Everything you wear is helping people determine who you are in society and 
what basically what rank you are, what you're bringing to the table. That may seem unfair, but as you know, life is unfair. And you can either fight it and start off on the wrong foot, shoot yourself in the foot, start off slow in the race, or understand this is the way things work, and I'm gonna use this to my advantage. I have a great message. I want to start get that nonprofit off the ground. I want to start my first business. I want my wife to find me attractive. So guess what? You start to dress better. You start to dress in a way when you're going on that date and she's beautiful, she's 10 years younger than you. You want her to think, man, he looks so good for his age. I know my mom, you know, maybe doesn't like I'm dating this older guy, but when she meets him, she's going to be, and this is all going through her head before you've said a word because you look the part of a success. You look the part of someone that she wants to take home, someone that she wants to trust, somebody that is successful and makes a difference, whatever that may be to you. So when people think clothing doesn't matter, no, not in the big scheme of things, but it does matter in that first impression and that's why it should matter to you. I would say style is important to me because it represents who you are before you even talk to somebody. Uh, I'm a TV meteorologist, so of course I'm putting myself out there every day. So my appearance is important. It doesn't want to be, I don't want it to be distracting, but I want it to be something that uh, commands a little bit of respect, of course, but also uh, endears you to your audience as well. Um, something that shows that you might have a sense of sophistication or that you uh, um, have a certain type of personality. All these things you can convey through what you wear and your style will definitely have a role in your overall self-confidence. So those all things play together and I see it as an attribute that if you manage to uh, really develop, you're going to see a lot of success coming out of other areas of your life. There, there's a saying in literature, style is the man. There's another saying that as a man speaks, so is he. This is the way you want to be seen. If you don't care, that's fine. But present yourself with integrity. Be who you are, and when you do that, then you will be received as you are. You don't have to be fashionable, no. But you do have to have whatever style you have, because otherwise, you're going to have around you people you don't want around you. And you're going to be repelling people you want to draw to you, because you don't care. And it's clear that you don't care. You don't care about anything, not just clothing but the way you talk, the way you move, the way you do whatever you do, that is what will make you a human being among other human beings that you want to be with. That's why you should care. Well, I believe that you should care about your style because, you know, it is kind of like an outward expression of, of who you are, right? And people, as much as we hate it, people definitely judge others by how they look, you know, and that's kind of, that sucks. But, I think it's the truth, um, and it's not like when you care about your style, you're trying to say that you're better than anybody, or that you, you know, you have more money, or that you have more status. Maybe you are, maybe you aren't. But I think what the important thing is is that you know you want your style, how you appear to other people, to line up with who you are inside and who you are as a person. Um, and I think style is the mo is the easiest way to to go about doing that because that's the first thing people see. I think the reason that I dress up or take it to the next level is both because it's a reflection of me on the inside, I'm like trying to make my outside look like my inside, and the other is it does make a difference in how people treat you, and I just find I get treated better if I dress better, therefore I'm willing to do the extra effort, and you know, it's not like it's really all that hard and a lot of fun to do anyway. Uh, here's the thing, you can have a great personality, you can be the smartest guy that you know. But if you don't look like it, no one's gonna take you seriously. Because think about it, like, when, like no, one really, no one sees your personality. No one sees your intelligence. Your style is your outward expression of who you are as a person. If you wanna be taken seriously, you have to take yourself seriously. And what's the best way to do that? Dress better. It, it's almost like your handshake, you know? It's, it's, your, it's your wingman. It, it's, the, it's the thing that introduces you before you even open your mouth, right? And having good style is relative. If you're someone, you know, like working in tech, you know, like maybe good style in that industry is, you know, like t-shirts and jeans. If you're someone in finance, then, you know, st a good style is, is a good suit. So good style is relative to the type of people you want to attract and the types of impression that you want to create. But the thing is, the most important thing that I can give you when it comes to good style is you have to be intentional. Ask yourself, 
what do you want people to think of you when they see you for the first time? And then also you have to think of context, right? Like where, uh, where do you spend the majority of your time? What kind of lifestyle do you have? The key word with having good style is to be intentional. So why style matters? Well, it's funny, uh, I'm not, a, I don't consider myself a style expert, but it's something that has been part of my personal development journey, journey as a man and as part of starting The Distilled Man. And it's interesting because a lot of guys say they don't care about their style, why should they care? But the funny thing is, the stronger they object to trying to be uh, deliberate about the way they look, usually the more they actually do care about what they look. And I think that's kind of a main point I wanna make is that whether or not you think you care about your style, you are making a statement whether or not you want to. So if you decide to phone it in and not pay attention to the way you look, you're making a statement. And so the way that I look at it is, why not take control of that and why not be deliberate? Because the other misconception is that dressing better is about dressing up. Um, if you watch a channel like Tanner Guzzi's, for instance, he talks about this all the time, that a lot of guys think that they should be wearing a three-piece suit, and that's what dressing well is about. But it's not, it's actually just about being intentional. And one final thing I wanna to say too is that I used to think that paying attention to your style and dressing better was almost kind of a selfish act, that if I saw a guy doing it, it was like he's being a prima donna. But what I've come to realize is that there's something wonderful about paying attention to the way you look, getting clothes that fit you better, being more intentional about what you're wearing because it's almost this has this contagious effect where if I dress well, there'll be another gentleman who comes up to me who I don't even know and says, hey man, I really like your suit or I really appreciate it that you, you kind of dressed up a little bit today. And instead of guys making fun of you, what happens is that, again, it becomes contagious and, and these guys will, uh, will want to up their game as well. So I think it's one of those things where uh, you know, for lack of a better term, the rising tide lifts all boats. I think it's good for everybody. To me, style is important because it may sound like a, a cliche thing to say, but style is a form of expression and it's a way to tell everybody in the room who you are without saying a single word. And that, you know, that first impression can be the culprit into, you know, building the relationships and life that you want for yourself. Lastly, and most importantly, is you know your overall well-being. You know how you feel about the man that you see right behind that mirror, and you know just putting you know a little bit of you know effort and just paying a de uh, paying attention to the detail in, in your style can have a huge impact. It can make a huge impact in your confidence, and this has actually been backed by research. It's actually called enclosed cognition, but you know that good feeling about yourself can really help you push forward to to get what you want out of life. And that's why it's important to me. So the way I see it, uh, there's a lot of stuff in life that you can't control. Like for example, I'm five, six in shoes. Can't do anything about that. And then there's some things in life that you can control. And kind of the low hanging fruit of, of that set of things is the way you dress yourself. It's very easy. It's much easier to change your clothes than to add 30 pounds of muscle or to lose 30 pounds of fat, you know? So I look at the things that I can control and I try to focus as much of my time and mental energy on that and for me you know dressing well is is a huge part of that and i think it's a it's a really good place to start style to me is all about the way that you present yourself to the world i'm always more inclined to pick up a book with a beautiful and well laid out cover than something that might just have text on it so whether you are a young guy in college or if you're an older guy trying to present yourself as somebody who has a lot of experience the way that you choose your clothing the way that it fits the way you bring an outfit together, that's the way that you are projecting yourself to the world because although you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, people still do. And you want a nice way to break the ice and present yourself in a very strong and thoughtful way. You know, they say if you can see the world, the world can see you. Well, what do you want them to see? Do you want them to have an impression based on that you don't care or you say that you don't care? Or do you actually want to put forth a little bit of effort and show that you actually care how you present yourself to the world. You know, some guys say that, oh, I don't care how I look, I'll just wear anything. But I beg to differ with that. Would you walk out of the house wearing a trash bag or a pink tutu? Probably not. So that means you do actually care how you present yourself to the world. Well, take it that step further 
and get ahead than the other guy who's walking around in sweatpants and a superhero t-shirt. And I think style is so important because it helps you make a great first impression. And we all know first impressions are everything. Whether you're in a job interview or just meeting someone for the first time, I think wearing a nice outfit that looks really good really helps you make a great first impression and that's why style is so important to me. For me, style is about self-expression. I don't think everybody needs to care about style or fashion. I don't think you need to be the best dressed man in the room. If you don't like fashion, that's fine. But since people judge you on that first impression, whether you like it or not, why not use that as a tool to make a good one and get a good first impression out of people? And outside from that, from just being appropriately dressed for whatever you go, like whether it's for your work or for a venue you're going to where you need to have a particular dress code, like the first step is just being appropriate for where you're going. But for me, it's more about self-expression. It's about I enjoy, like I enjoy dressing a particular way. I enjoy expressing myself through colors, patterns and all that. But that's just me and like we're all different. And if you like style, if you like dressing up, do it. If you don't, it's all right. You do you, man. Gentlemen, I hope this video was helpful for you. And like I said at the front of the video, I have some questions for you. And the main questions are, what types of content would you like to see from me out of this channel? There's been a bit of growth around here recently, which I appreciate, but I wanna make sure that I'm hitting the mark for some of you guys. So leave me some comments, let me know what types of topics you would like me to cover, and I'll make sure I get to them. Gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you very soon in a brand new video. Until then, take care and stay safe.